Something a little different. A little shade tree acrylic bending, if you will. Makes the clocks. So, finished cutting this on the table saw. Table saw, I usually use you know typical carbide blade. Uh, nice cool cut so it doesn't melt. Make a measurement. I got a line here to square it up so when I am done bending, it's in plane. It's not cockeyed. Then I clamp. I haven't done this too many times, but this method seems to work. I may end up changing at some point, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right? And then, when you clamp this section, you have to leave room as it turns underneath. So let's get this set up and I'll show you what I mean. I usually get like a 3 8 of an inch in here gap. This is where the bend's going to be. Um, that's where we're going to apply the heat. This is a heat gun that we use on this. And as far as the clearance underneath, what I'm bending over is a 3 quarter inch piece of plywood. And what I want to do is leave a little bit more than three quarter of an inch. So as it bends down, you're not cramming it into that plywood. And you can complete a full 90 degree bend. There are other people that do this. You could probably see their videos. But if you come to my channel for clock stuff, this is what I do. Anything to save a buck here. This is scrap that the hardware store had. They must uh, do screen doors or what have you and put a acrylic panel in. And they had it out front as leftover pieces. So it works out for me because all I need is small pieces for what I do. Okay, so this this is 90 degrees here, and we're going to bend this down, and everything is snug, and I got some room underneath. I'm just using this as a gauge. It's a little th thicker than three quarters of an inch. It gives you the room because the bend takes up a little bit too. My uh, Corroded old five dollar heat gun. These get really hot. You just gotta be careful and just keep it moving over that area you left, that three eighths of an inch air gap. It'll slowly start to creep down. You're not going to want to let it go too fast. Just take your time and coax it. Pull the heat away if you need to. Starting to go. I'm just going to support it a little bit. Slow it down. Keep the heat moving. And look at your bend to see what's even. Oh. 
gun back a little bit. Bend always doesn't go in the same place from one side to the other, so that's what you're looking at. This one may not come out as good as my last one, but we'll see. Then a little in pressure to keep the bend exactly where I want it on the corner of the top edge of that plywood. Left and right edge seem to heat up easier than the middle sometimes. My thumb is putting pressure in to try and keep the bend localized to one spot. Otherwise you get a real long sweep type bend. I forgot to pull the protective plastic off the back side. That may end up being a problem. We will see. I'm working on the middle a little more here. Thumb's getting hot. Now what I do is put this on cool. Start blowing some cool air on there. Check for 90. Yep. I may have to do this again in a protective film on the back side. I see a little bubbles up on the bend. I'm hoping they didn't fuse together. The reveal. It's the plastic film. Yeah, that funny white. I hope it's probably melted to it. It's my bad setting up the camera. I forgot to peel. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Ooh. Ooh, I think we did it right. It's the first time I bent the acrylic. With the protective film on, and we did okay. A okay. There you go, 90 degrees. We got a little sag here. I didn't quite get the center bent as much as the corners went. That seems to be what I'm learning. But uh, I think we're going to go with it. That's how you, I bend the acrylic. I'm working on it. Hope you enjoyed.